Leslie from A Friend to Knit With. Welcome to episode 48 of A Friend to Knit With podcast. I had to look out the window at the sky, see if it could remind me. Uh, today is... Window? Uh, today is January 4th, 2025, and it is a Thursday. Hopefully you guys had a wonderful holiday season and you're easing into the new year. I thought I'd come on here. Well, this is a channel mostly about knitting. So if you love to knit as much as I do, or even a little bit of knitting, then you're in the right spot. Um, I am not going to do a typical podcast, like what's on my needles, what's off my needles, and what could be on my needles. I am, I only actually have one thing off my needles. I will tell you about that. But I thought I'd just quickly because everything's on my Ravelry page and I will have everything linked below to my Ravelry page but I just thought I'd get on and do a recap of my 23 knits I just filmed a little reel over on Instagram and put it up and I thought oh maybe I'll just since I have all my sweaters in a giant pile I will just film a little um, YouTube and kind of so you can keep it organized I'm gonna be just telling you the needle size, the yarn, if I have it here, and um, yes, if I wear them or not. But to tell you the truth, I, I actually do. I have told you over the last few years that I am really focusing on only buying yarn and knitting the sweaters I think that will go in my wardrobe. For years I didn't do that. I am, you know, big, eyes bright things catch my attention and yeah I actually just was in Doylestown and went into Forever Yarns there which is an amazing yarn shop oh my goodness the colors just everything it's kind of like the lamb and kit they just have a really beautiful selection of yarns and I could have bought everything bright and shiny but I know I'm not going to wear it. And so with that combined with the style that you think you like, it's really important to knit the things that we are going to wear. So I think that I pretty much did that. I had a couple like special hand knits that aren't worn that often, but I am happy to have them in my wardrobe and wear them. So <clears throat> I might even just slip them on while I go. I am actually wearing the classic by... It's a free pattern by Sonder. Well, it was by Espas Draco, um, and it's in the Sonder yarn. And this, I want another one of these sweaters for sure this year because I wear this all the time. It is just a basic turtleneck. It doesn't bother me. Um, you know, it has the high-low thing. I might do it dip the bottom differently, but I really love the drape of this Sonder yarn. So yeah, that's what I'm wearing. And all right, I'll just kind of go in the order with that I made them and uh, let you know. Okay, so the first one I knit was Cuffle and it was I have half in the laundry basket and half folded. Um, it was out of, or it is out of, Forge by Hudson and Hudson what no Hudson wait what is it again <laughs> Hudson West <laughs> and it's in their forge and this yarn I will say this this is a very dense knit um, I absolutely love this sweater I it's still it has a lower arm but it um, or underarm depth there but it still fits in coats nicely. And yeah, I've worn this. It's one of those warm sweaters. So if I layer it under things and go outside, it can be worn that way as a coat almost. Um, or yeah, it can just be worn inside. I wore this last year uh, when we went out west and I'll probably take it there again. Let me see if I wrote down. It took two skeins of Aspen, four skeins of Ash. I think it's on a size seven needle. And 
yeah, love it. It's not an everyday sweater, but it's certainly a winter sweater that you can wear a lot. Next up was No Frills by Petite Knit, and I will tell you, I love this sweater. I think it is, the yarn is super drapey and lovely, but I think most people love their No Frills sweater. So if you've, you're new to sweater knitting, and I think she has made some corrections. Her patterns, if you're a new knitter, I wouldn't say they're the easiest to read, but they're easy enough that, you know, you could always probably reach out for help. But this is the No Frills by Petite Knit, and I knit it in Oonling number 10, and I held it with number 11. And loved this color. What is it on? A six. It's a US six. That's my goal is to memorize. So maybe you can see it here. Memorize the, um, you know, the millimeter, right? I have this that I got at um, Stephen and Penelope. So it, it's right there. So it makes this super easy for me to be able to know what size when I'm reading a pattern or looking online, you know, to convert it. But I want to be able to do it right in my head. So anyhow, this is worn a lot. And the only reason I don't wear it a ton is the color. So if I'm cooking or anything, it's just, it's almost like a white to me. You know, you have to be very careful with this light blue. But I absolutely love it. It's one of those sweaters, you know, you can wear out to dinner or you can wear during the day. All right, then up next were my um, Saturday Shrugs, which I love. This is out of just Birdie, and these are the colors Boot Cut and Jolly Green. And then this was out of Big Birdie, and this is Vintage and Peanut. And I love these. I wore these actually more in the summer than in the winter, but I have worn them. Uh, I wear this one way more than this one. I don't know why. These were like the colors I was really craving and just doesn't go with a ton in my wardrobe, I guess, as this does. But love them and I'm happy to have that there. Then next up was the Fancy, which I if you watch my last podcast, I was knitting a lion sweater by Petite Knit and using the birdie, the big birdie yarn, and it, it's huge. And you guys gave me such great advice frogging that because I was going to maybe give it to my husband, but uh, frogging that and using it for another fancy because I absolutely love this sweater. I mean, what's not to love? It is just, you know one of those cozy sweaters. I've worn this so much. It f I feel like it fits in my wheelhouse and it's just, you know, stripes, camel, black, what can I say? So the Fancy is a free pattern by Sarah Diamond and it used four, well, you could get, I got by with three, Big Birdie and the Peanut, and then I had some, uh, what was that? Their black is called something. Did I write it down? Blackbird. So that's called Blackbird. I love it. It's on a US 9. Goes super fast. And yes, it gets worn a lot. All right. Next up, I think it was Lento. I have to go to my other pile. Okay, so Lento is amazing. I definitely am making another Lento this year. I might even make it... Um, Soon, soonish. I have a couple of other things on the needles, but soonish. But I love Lento. It's a very simple, just raglan. Um, oh, I loved this yarn. I love this sweater so much. Um, Lento is. I write it down. On a US ten, and uh, I have some mohair on my lips. Um, I used yarn from on a trip to Barcelona. Mm. 
holding two strands together, um, but the yarn store was all you knit, all you knit is love. And that was the name of the yarn. Um, I think it was their Boca, I think. Anyhow, I do have it on my Ravelry page. I think I should. And if not, you can always message me. But love, 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 love Lento. Definitely will be making another one of these in the future. All right. What else? My friend of friends. And, you know, if you've been around here for any time, you know about those because... I seem to want to always share these with you. But these are friend to friend. This is um, a, I made some modifications on this one and did. It was um, kind of based off the Francis Valentine one that they had this year on their website and in their collection. So I didn't do the troll neck, but truly this is my favorite. I wear the black one. I didn't, I guess, I don't know why I didn't put it in that little video I filmed today, but the black one is worn all the time. This is it, you know, you know it if you've been here. And if not, it's called the Friend to Friend and it uses Hue and Me yarn. Is it a 10? Look, I don't even know. I just keep my needles always right there. I think it's on a 10 or 11. And it is washable and dryable and I absolutely love it. So this gives me a segue to, to me to go into here. This was my only, well, this was my last finished object of the year. This is the only thing I have to show you during this podcast. And I am making another one in gray. This is for my husband, but they're just water, water bottle covers because if you have been making friend of friends, then you might have some Hue and Me left over and I want to give you something to do with it. So that will be a pattern um, and you know, anyhow, it'll be a gifted pattern to you. So stay tuned, but it's a great way to use leftovers and I have always loved hot water bottles in the winter. I throw them in the bed before we get into bed. This is Libby's. I made this for her for Christmas. And um, yeah, she's at home right now and I'm just still throwing it in her bed. So uh, and I love having her here and yeah, I still do that. Okay, so then next up was the, I don't know if this was next up or, but another daily pullover because I mean, the daily pullover. I've made four of these, and if I had one sweater that is worn the most, it is definitely a daily pullover. I don't know. I just find it to be an everyday pullover. It really is, you know, one of those... It's a finer gauge, so I don't think it really looks that hand-knit. Uh... And I don't know, there's just something about it that makes it very wearable. I also was thinking about trying a different yarn this year because I've only ever used the yarn that the pattern called for, which is linen quill. But I thought, hmm, wonder what it would look like in another yarn. And I do have some that's dying to hop on my needles. So that is a maybe. Okay, next up. Guess will be the Esmeralda, which is a pattern by my friend Katrine with Umling. And I think that this is actually my most worn sweater because it's, I, I don't know, I think I like the fit the best out of all of these. It's just super easy to wear, super easy to throw on. It looks great with jeans, I've worn with black pants worn it with my sweatpants. It's just one of those, that's what it is. It's like a sweatshirt sweater. Um, and I do, I love the fit. Has some really great detailing um, in the sides, on the sleeves. And yeah, I just feel like it's very easy to wear. Is my camera crooked? Hold on, let me adjust you a little bit. There we go. 
All right, uh, next up was maybe, I think it was in between the Grand Cardigan and the um, Ranunculus. But this is patterned by Crayobelia Knits. And you know, I was having some issues with this. I do absolutely love it. Look, it's kind of small. I don't want to just, you know, it's just, you know who it looks great on? Libby. <sighs> yes. I just, I really like it on her. So I think I'm just going to have to gift it to her. Um, I like the way it feels on my body and it's super light. I want to try this pattern again with a cotton, I think, for the summer. But yes, that is the um, Grand card again. And I used Oomling's. I don't think I wrote it down. Oh, I did. Number one. Three skeins of that. And it's on a US 8 needle, so it goes pretty quickly. All right, this was the Ranunculus. Remember, I had my labels this year. So I've sewed them into most things that I've finished since I bought them. This is the Korean cardigan. No, this is the um, Ranunculus. You guys all know it. Now, this is all of the yarn they had, if you remember. I would have liked it a little longer, but I bought all they had at the yarn store. Not even sure what I could do with the yarn, and then I realized, oh my gosh, of course I can make it miraculous. Love it so much. This yarn is just a natural llama yarn, and it is just dreamy. I was gonna tell you about the miraculous, but you guys all know. So. We will not do that. Then I had the Barbie bubble wraps. I had two of those. I showed you that one a lot, so I'll show you this one. I'm not sure I even, yeah, I did. But I mean, how cute is this? I have, I wore this with all black during the holidays. Just, it's so cozy. Um, it's by Bobolaris. And it is out of her Rita and what's the other yarn? Rita, wait, let's see, I keep thinking. Rita Bulky and her Vivian Mohair. Keep forgetting, I might have written things down. So, anyhow, I love this. I feel like it's a very luxurious knit. And then, of course, out of this one, it's absolutely beautiful. And I wore this to Rhinebeck and, or not actually to Rhinebeck, but to Cake and Wool. And it was so great. Okay. So those have been worn this fall too. And I'm sure they'll continue to be worn. Then there was the Antique Flora. And Libby wore this to Christmas Eve. I was... I don't know if she's ever come to me and said, can I wear this sweater? So I was like, you're going to wear that? I usually don't wear this t-shirt under there, so it's a little, but yes, she wore it and made my heart big. But this is the Antique Flora by Wool and Pine out of Gina from Cocaine Cocaine's Royal DK. And yeah, it's a good one. I don't even think it's Christmassy, but it can be worn during the holidays. So light to that. And then my last one that I knit was my Starry Starry Night. And I've shown this to you before, but this is it. Starry Starry Night. So those are all the sweaters I knit. Um, I just saw a message asking which one was my favorite. So if I really had to pick one sweater, well, you know, the daily pullovers, the most worn, definitely would be Esmer Esmeralda or Lento as my most worn. They're both super easy to wear. 
Um, the lento, honestly, if you guys have never made a lento, I mean, I don't think there's anything to not like about this fit um, on anyone that I've seen. And then the Esmeralda, Esmeralda, Esmeralda is just a very, you know, you could try some different skills with the garter ridges down the sides and down the side of the sleeves. And of course there's the fancy. I mean, I'm not sure, truly, but pr probably these two for the sweaters. Um, oh my gosh, I forgot to show you one other one, but I'm not gonna take this off. This is the Everyday Attitude and adore this sweater. I want more summer knits like this, but I don't think I want them on size four needles or threes, whatever this was. And then I had the mini mock tee, but I put all of my um, summer clothes away because I have to rotate closets for space and that's somewhere in there and I just didn't go digging for that. So I also have that. That wasn't like a really big sweater. Um, so that was just a little tank top. But other than that, yes, if I had to say what were the most worn things and my favorite to wear, I'm going to say these three. Lento, Esmeralda, Fancy. So, and then of course I wear the front front every single day just because I put it on my pajamas in the morning and at night. Um, yes. So that's it. So I'm very excited to get knitting for 24 and hear what you guys are up to knitting wise. Um, are you gonna try anything new? Maybe socks, sweaters? I have a scarf on the needles. I have a fancy sweater on the needles. I have the Violetta pullover on the needles, which by the way, that sweater is on sale until it's half off until the pattern, until the end of the year. So I will go ahead and pop that in the description box below. Also, if you are, you know, looking for that to maybe make that later, I made a little error because sometimes I feel like when you think you know how the pattern's gonna go and then you uh, just don't. <laughs> I just read it quickly and set up my rounds and started and then I, I, it's just important to read the pattern is what I should say. So anyhow, that is on my needles and then I'm going to have this head cover pattern, or head cover, I already did the head covers, this water bottle cover um, pattern for you the next episode, which I hope will be next week or the following week. And I will show you some of my other things that are on my needles and off my needles. Now I feel like I'm crooked again. Maybe it keeps moving. All right, friends, thanks so much for stopping by and happy new year. I hope it's one of your best yet, whether it involves knitting or any other crafty endeavors and time with your favorite people and doing the things you love to do and your body full of all the good health. So until next time, thanks for stopping by and I will see you soon. All right, take care. Bye.